Does the soul weigh 21 grams? This idea has been made widely popular by blockbuster films and best-selling books. But where does it stem from in the first place? From the experiment of an American physician, Dr. Duncan McDougall, who managed to lie six dying patients successively in a hospital bed he had turned into a large weighing scale and moved into his office in 1907. In order to track the smallest changes in weight, MacDougall stared at the scale for hours and hours. Eventually, at the precise moment of a patient's death, he noticed a loss in weight that couldn't be accounted for, neither by the evaporation of sweat, nor by the evacuation of the last breath from the lungs, nor even by the unfortunate emptying of the bowels, which happens from time to time. This weight loss was estimated to be three quarters of an ounce, which translates to just above 21 grams. The experiment was reproduced on 15 dogs. McDougall assumed they had no soul. This time, no loss in weight was observed. So, the weight of the soul, scientifically proven? Wait a minute. Firstly, the experiment was carried out on six patients only. That's not quite enough to draw any solid conclusion. But worse, the decrease in weight was observed in only one of the six patients. Two patients were excluded from the experiment because of technical issues. Two others lost a little weight not only when they died, but also later on. As for the sixth patient, he did lose a little weight, but he put it on again. Yet, obviously, he hadn't come back to life. Finally, it must be said that McDougall's scale was only accurate to more or less 6 grams, which makes it quite difficult to assert that the soul weighs 21 grams precisely. Moreover, nowadays, we know that it is almost impossible to define the exact moment of death. Is it when the breathing stops? When the brain activity stops? The heart activity? At the end of the day, it is impossible to be sure that the soul weighs 21 grams. We can't tell whether it weighs anything at all, or even if it exists. But just for the sake of fun, let's assume it does exist, and does weigh something. If it rises to the skies after the moment of death, it means that it is lighter than the air. But if the body, when dying, is freed from an element lighter than the air, it should become heavier, not lighter. Unless, of course, your soul would rather descend to hell, in which case, indeed, the overall body weight should decrease slightly. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. See you soon!